The Greater Chicago Food Depository is warning that more people are at risk of going hungry than ever before. A lot of things are making this worse. Inflation in food prices, gas prices, the expiration of the child tax credit. The Food Depository is dramatically ramping up distribution and they need your help. So joining us this morning, Jim Conwell. He is the Senior Director of Marketing and Communications at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Roseanne. Good morning. So we've been talking about this, and I was telling you a, a moment ago, I remember covering these huge lines of people during the pandemic. Here it's been two years since the start of the pandemic. Why are things, why is this problem persisting? Well, two years after the first wave of the pandemic, food insecurity does remain elevated. And by most measures, it's rising again. Uh, Northwestern economists estimate that 16% of local households and 20% of local households with children are struggling to get the food they need. Inflation and rising food prices are just the latest challenges. Right. And that's coming after the expiration of some really critical and helpful, but temporary assistance programs. Right. You know, one thing I noticed covering those big food lines was that you would see Mercedes and, uh, you know, BMWs in line. And it was really clear that these people, you know, had the rug pulled out from under them. You're living one life and then all of a sudden your job is gone. And yeah, I think people might be surprised to know who among our neighbors are most affected by this food insecurity. Absolutely. And the pandemic, like the Great Recession before, it was a crisis that turned life upside down for hundreds of thousands of our neighbors who suddenly couldn't work. And even though the jobs have started to come back, it's going to take years to recover fully from this crisis. And the households that have been impacted the most are actually households of color and households with children. Right. Now, what do you do if you, you suspect someone you know may need help getting food? Do you have any suggestions? The good news is help is out there. The Greater Chicago Food Depository works with a network of more than 700 partners and programs across Cook County. Uh, our counterparts, the Northern Illinois Food Bank, serve uh, the suburban counties around Cook County. And there are hundreds of places uh, close to everyone that they can go and get food for free. If you are uh, living in Cook County, visit chicagosfoodbank.org to find a site near you. And outside of Cook County, you want to visit solvehungertoday.org to find a food distribution near you. There is enough food for everyone. Uh, we just want to make sure that people are getting connected to it. Now, the flip side for the people who are fortunate and want to help, what's the best way they can make an impact? The best way you can make an impact is by uh, giving money, making a donation to either the food banks I just mentioned or to your local food pantry or soup kitchen. Um, all of us are purchasing more food to help keep up with the demand, but also because uh, donations of food have slowed down uh, and, as the supply chain is tightened. So uh, financial donations and volunteers are needed both at the food banks, but also at the neighborhood food pantries. Okay, well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time, Jim Conwell, with the uh, Greater Chicago Food Depository.